hi guys welcome to the next part of my video which will be called uh, process to engage which is all about the way children engage in the process of art so if you're interested uh, feel free to keep watching I'll post a link just up here to subscribe to this channel and a link up here to subscribe to uh, my other channel I'm just gonna have um, photos running throughout the video but listen uh, to the audio because that's where all the information will be this was written by me with references all the references will be found in the description box below and I'll be referencing them the APA referencing way so I hope you guys enjoy this video please comment please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one bye Hi everybody, so this topic is called the process to engage and this video will be about the way children engage in the process of art. So if you're interested, keep watching and all the references will be below. I'll pop the link also in the description box below to the first uh, part of this sequence which is called a sketch of the issue which is about the issues surrounding child art. So let's get started. It's important to consider the process of art in relation to the way children are engaged when planning and executing experiences for children. During setup times and whilst interacting and participating with children during art processes, we must be aware of how children participate and are engaged to ensure that they are taking responsibility for their own learning and that they are being provided with the quality materials required to do so. The following discussion will follow children and teachers working in a partnership to best facilitate the child's and the teacher's learning through the process of art. By making art materials available as a fixed component of the classroom, children are able to select materials at their own time and to suit their needs and facilitate their own learning. Whilst this is promoting independence and self-growth, children are more engaged in the processes of art and are creating a piece that is all directed by themselves. Materials can also be provided and presented to the children as a foundation for a planned activity and further inspired by the learner teachers or adults engagement in the activity. For example, the adult may present the child, children with a selection of materials and scissors as a foundation to explore with cutting materials and the possibility of a collage. Crozier and Chapman in 1984 said, content for these activities might develop from both the classroom curriculum at large as well as the specific work the children are producing. From my experiences working with children in particular, my participation in their art experiences, I see a huge value in the statement from Taunton M and Colbert C in 2000. Knowing what materials to offer for different kinds of expression, how to nurture a child's personal style and to encourage development and how to commend children's artistic efforts are important skills for learners and teachers. Be aware of the way each individual child expresses him or herself is important for me when providing materials for art experiences. A child that expresses themselves through the stroke the paintbrush provides them may not be able to express themselves as much through, say, screen printing perhaps. However, providing a range of art experiences, including screen printing for this child, will allow them to explore and will assist them in gaining a better understanding of of the child's engagement with different processes of art and an insight into the way the child expresses themselves through art. Nurturing each child's personal style is of mammoth importance. I feel that there is nothing worse than trying to change the way a child progresses and completes their artwork, except the adult that fixes it before it goes home or on display. We all have our own style of everything, from eating and walking to driving and riding, and none of these are different for children or art. What's the value in 26 identical key sheep cutouts, each with 10 cotton balls in the same areas on display? The lesson children learn here is that their own styles, needs, wants don't matter, and by gosh, they do to me. When I look at my art display in my centre, I want to imagine walking through an art gallery of different styles of artwork that use different media, took different amounts of time and different artistic styles and strategies behind the artist's thinking. Encouraging children to talk about their style of art and what they need to extend their artistic capacity is of vast importance to learn about their individual style of art. Commending a child's artistic efforts can be a sensitive subject. I have learnt through my work as a learner teacher. Praising a child for their artwork is not as simple as saying, oh, that looks so pretty. The comment we give children requires more thinking about the child and their art styles. Commending a child's work can be as simple as commenting on the vibrancy of the piece, the work and effort the child put into their work, or exploration and use of a variety of mediums. However, commending a child's art can also be taking the time out, as long as the child requires, to have a detailed conversation about their work, asking them questions about what they used, what they did first, the process, what they were thinking, 
thinking about, what it means to them, are all meaningful questions. Not only will it help the learner teacher to better understand the child's process through art, but it is also a way of telling a child that their work never goes unnoticed and that it has meaning to me. I am interested in what it means to you, the child. This, to me, is a commendation of the child's artwork like a standing ovation is to a singer. Thank you guys so much for watching, watching and I'll see you in the next video called Art is the Teacher, which is all about how teachers can um, cultivate children's creative skills. Hope you enjoy it and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.